This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. Almost to, we are coming to the end of SQL Server. We have a few more topics left, okay? So indexes and the triggers, cursors, functions, okay? So what are the topics that you should learn to crack the interview as part of SQL Server, okay? So what are the topics that you supposed to learn? So the topics that supposed to learn is from SQL Server point of view, if you wanted to crack the interview, and if you follow my videos, my notes, 99% of interview questions you can crack. You don't go anywhere else, I'm telling you. Whether you're having three or five or 10 years of experience, it doesn't matter. Don't go anywhere, clear? Follow my videos and especially for MSBA and the SQL Server, you don't go any other channel at all, clear? Follow my videos, my stuff, you can crack you know, 99% interview questions very, very easily. Clear? So what are the topics that you should learn to crack the interview? Queries. Inside queries, you should know complete, you know, the case studies you should have completed. Now, joints, sub-queries, correlation sub-queries, and uh, the tricky questions, right? All of them. Ranking functions. The second one is that stored procedures. Okay? Stored procedures, you should know very well. It's not very complicated stored procedures. Only thing is that why stored procedures and how to write complex stored procedures. And what is input parameter? What is output parameter? What is written statement? What is exception handling? You know, what is a try catch blocks? Only these things, okay? The next topic is indexes, okay? I'm going to give you two videos in this weekend. So watch indexes videos and uh, you take the notes without fail, okay? This is the next topic. If you know, learn these three topics very well. And fourth topic is yesterday we have completed temp tables versus CTE versus table variable, okay? This is one topic, small topic. In all the interviews, you will get compulsory questions. Tempo tables versus common table expressions versus table variables, clear? So if you know these four topics, if you know these four topics, 99 point interview questions, you should be able to answer, clear? The next one you should study SSIS. In SSIS, they'll ask you, what are the transformations you have implemented? So look for some transformations, okay? So transformations, okay? Transformations like uh, we use lookup, right? We use lookup, then we use derived column, right? And we use conditional split, okay? Then we say merge versus compulsory question. Merge versus union all, or they'll ask you, merge versus merge join okay compulsory questions they are these are okay so look up and blah 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 and what is multicast okay multicast so these things you should know very well and what is a incremental loading and how did you do this and the next one they'll ask you incremental loading then how to debug a ssis package if you get an issue okay and how do you how do you you know implement logging okay then if you get bad data what will you do if you get bad data what will you do okay so these are the questions will be asked. Do you know how to deploy the package? Do you know how to deploy SSIS package? Okay, so a few concepts we need to cover in uh, SSIS. So do you know how to deploy? What is a checkpoint in SSIS? Okay. And uh, what is the breakpoint in SSIS? 
so this i need to cover okay <clears throat> so breakpoint in ssis and what is scd transformation okay and so these are the things so maximum these questions are asked okay so maximum these questions are asked so make sure that you know what is the size of the data you're dealing with dealing we'll say that every month we'll get 200 gb of data now what is the size of data warehouse okay data warehouse so every month when you get 200 gb 10 years of data one year of data 2.4 10 years of data some 20 but we can say some 10 terabytes of data in data warehousing it is having lost 5 or 10 years of data clear so people will ask you all this thing okay so <clears throat> these are the things that you should know at least to crack the interviews right so what is the latest version of uh, sql server that we have used so we can say that 2019 or 2017 what is your team size what is your team size in the current project clear you can tell them that we are seven people seven guys in the team right so what is your team size means you have a team lead i would have told you right so you have a team lead so this is a team lead under that this is you know your team i'm talking about okay so not not this okay this so this guy is a team lead okay this is a senior software engineer this guy is also senior software engineer this guy is also senior software engineer right so one two three four and this is you five okay this is you software engineer and this is also one more friend this is also one more friend clear so this is you software engineer one two three four five six seven people and a tl will report to assistant manager assistant manager will report to manager manager will have a lot of projects but team lead and everything this is what is you clear and a team lead will have more than greater than seven to eight years of experience these people are greater than five years and you people are uh, zero to some three to four clear so that is what is your experience clear so what is the team size it is a seven clear or eight whatever it is so eight means you have one more guy is going to work under this senior software engineer so that is the question people would ask you clear and uh, tell me about your project okay so tell me about your project you should do one project otherwise you will not be able to answer anything here tell me the challenges which you faced in the current project all these are completely real-time project based questions so tell me the challenges which you have faced okay which you faced in the current project and how did you resolve them so this question needs to be answered with the help of project experience okay how did you resolve with them right so now these things you cannot answer until and unless you do your project then tell me you know the data warehousing architecture of the current project clear so you have a data warehouse right so how the dimension tables how the factor tables are there tell me the data warehousing architecture about this clear so uh, explain me one ssis package from starting to end package from start to end so how do you create how did you create and what tables you have taken and how did you load the data to the staging 
and uh, how did you load <clears throat> the data to the data warehouse and explain one package from starting to end clear and how many ssis packages you have uh, created so far clear and what are the best practices what are the best practices of ssis packages right how do you how do you increase performance of ssis package guys so how do you increase performance of ssis package clear so most of the questions will be asked from ssis clear and most of the questions will be from sql server if you crack these questions if you crack these questions 99 percent you can get a job so maximum i think i would have covered if not you we are going to cover and uh, so definitely you should know what are blocked transformations okay what are blocked transformations and they may give you one or two scenarios right so they may give you one or two scenarios so that so no profiling and all nobody will ask profile the file that is useless okay don't worry about it so what are blocked transformations clear so these are the important questions these you should not leave from ssis angle okay so remember this and if i get something i'll give you but don't go into you know youtube and google they'll have a lot of useless questions so don't you know read everything so the ssrs now so what is ssrs you know you can tell they'll ask you types of reports you have created right types of reports means we'll we'll say drilling down so then we'll say drill through right then drill through drilling down difference and sub reports then parameterized reports parameter reports right so all these things you should be able to answer and uh, what is cascading cascade parameter right now these are the things people would ask you do you know how to create subscriptions to send the mails okay and subscriptions one is called standard and uh, data driven subscription okay so you you need to look into it to deliver the report okay so what are the data sources which you have used yeah here also people would ask you from where you get the data or will say what are the data sources that sources you know which you have used okay so you can tell them that flat file or we can say excel flat file means what flat file means it could be csv files okay csv files most of the time okay csv files you know comma separated values and excel files and sql server and if you have any other knowledge you can tell them that i have used oracle or if you if you use mysql then you have used mysql okay people may ask you did you any time used XML? You can say that I never used XML and everything. So you can say at least these three. Flat file, Excel, SQL Server, blah, blah, blah. Okay. How do you get the data? People would ask you that, right? So how do you get the files? So you can say shared folders. Shared folders will be there. So or you can get the data from FTP servers. We can use FTP task and download the data. Clear. So people would ask, did you ever use or do you know do you know SQ, uh, scripting or .NET? Okay. .NET script task. Clear. 
and yes we know dot net right it's for simple you know uh, automations we have done the other day i have given you few uh, in examples right whether the folder has files or not whether you know given whether the given file is having data or not i think saujanya has given me some code i i need to look into that so, um, saujanya thank you so you are printing something right don't print anything there because we are not going to print anything in the dot net so only we need to write if that file is having data or not you need to take one variable okay so is you know data available or not you make it true so are you getting and with the help of that we can write if the if the if the file does not have any value then we will be logging into that okay don't print anything you are saying message dot uh, show so that i don't need you modify the script and resend it to me you take a variable boolean variable if the <coughs> given file has data then you, you make it a true else no so that is one thing you need to modify and the next one whether the file received today or not so that is also don't show any message box and say again make it a true or false are you getting my point so based on that you know flag then we can say it is a today's file if the today's file we can take it so if the today's file you need to you know pick the file from there you need to pass it to the desk okay so that either you need to get the path of the file or you need to get this is today's file something like this you need to bring that out and that has to go to go down clear so this is what you create uh, in sss package and send it to me clear you need to create three packages so one is that uh, whether it is a today's file or not so on process only today's files and you take some two to three files and create a package and it has to work okay send me the package since you know right so you can just google it if you want to do it and that kind of a small you know scripting don't you know show any message box everything in, in your dot net code so do you know oh, dot net script task and uh, difference between okay difference between script task versus uh, script component right component right so these questions you should know very well and here what are the sources you have used so that means you can tell them that we have used oltp and we have used uh, no mdx queries that is a cube using cube we are getting mdx queries so these are the sources we are writing oltp means what right what you write you write normal queries okay and people may ask you how many reports you have created you can say tell them that many approximately 200 plus reports i have created 300 plus reports i have created something like this clear and uh, so and how do you give alternate row color okay how do you provide alternate row color okay in ssrs reports then how do you deploy <clears throat> okay how do you deploy ssrs reports all these things been covered okay how do you deploy ssrs reports and uh, that's it so very few questions you may get in ssrs then they'll ask you what is the uh, they'll ask you what is the complete experience that you have it clear so these are the things that you need to practice guys if you wanted to go in for interview what is the total experience they'll ask you total experience you can show uh, minimum 3.52 okay in india especially you can say up to four years don't go beyond that okay 4.6 or 5 maximum okay so that is sufficient for you even though you have five years of gaps you can tell them that uh, initially i was into uh, some other uh, you know non-it company or i was a faculty initially 
So something like this, you can tell them. Okay. So 3.5 to 6, you know, 4.6 years. And if you need any documentation for this, please let me know. And you can tell them that uh, what is the total years of experience? You can tell them that 3.5 years of experience in the current domain. And SSIS, same 3.5 years or 4.5 years I'm working. And SSRS also, you can tell them that I'm working almost three years. And SQL, SQL means writing store process everything almost you know 3.5 years so this is how you need to say what is the total experience you can say 3.5 or 4 and you can tell them like that clear and the rating also they will ask out of five <clears throat> out of five you can say like this so what is you know 4.2 out of five and sequel also you can say four out of five if they ask you it is simply double if you ask the out of ten out of ten means 8 by 10 okay this is what is your experience this is you can say 8.5 out of 10 because i am very good in ssis i have created at least some 100 plus packages right this is also 8 out of 10 clear do you have any exposure into ssis yeah i know basics i never worked on real time in the current project current experience i know the basic knowledge how to create a cube how to you know deploy a cube because i have learned i never implemented as part of my i never implemented as part of my uh, you know project so in the current project so you can tell them that you include two projects in your cv don't put more than two okay so two projects more than sufficient for you so you copy paste the projects and include two projects you can tell them that in the first project i am working for last two years okay last two years i'm working for this project and two projects only put it so out of that first project so you can say the first project will be current project last two years then the second project okay second project you can say well, you know, uh, one one and a half year that's a total five point years of experience so in the first and second project you include sql and ssis and ssrs responsibilities so in this also you can have ssis and ssrs and as these responsibilities am i clear so that's it so what is the total experience that you have and currently where are you working you can keep any company you can keep any company doesn't matter so you can say that i'm currently working for accenture company or um, i may be currently working for this and the salary package is also the last. What is the salary that you're currently drawing? Okay. So salary that you're currently drawing, minimum 6.5 lakhs. Okay. In Indian currency, I'm talking about. You can say, and what is your expected salary? Right. Expected salary, you ask the minimum 9 to 10 lakhs, not below that, I'm telling you. Okay. Don't ask less. If you ask less, they think that this girl or this guy doesn't have good knowledge. So you're not demanding money. So expected salary is I'm getting 6.5 lakhs and I am expecting 10 to 11 lakhs or 10 lakhs minimum. Clear? So what is your notice period? Right? That is also how soon you can join. So you can tell them that. So because of pandemic, because of pandemic, I lost job last month. Okay. So because of pandemic, what? I lost a job. My contract is over. I lost a job, right? I lost a job last month, okay? So last month, so your immediate joiner. You can say like that, immediate joiner. You can join, so immediately. So when did you came out from that previous company? So I lost a job last month, when? So they may ask you, so I lost a job in January 20 itself, okay? 2021 currently i am not having anything so i am at my hometown so i don't have anything last month 20 is my last working day because of pandemic the company lost the project and my team is also lost jobs and since i am a third party payroll to some other company clear so your immediate joiner you can join in one week's time yeah am i clear so maximum one week's time so did you have any other offers i don't have any other offers i have given the interviews 
but uh, you know a couple of rounds i have completed so uh, as of now i don't have anything in my hand clear okay in your cv you can mention so current company so current company is um, so current company could be anything else right current company you can say that currently i'm working for accenture hyderabad or bangalore okay so this is the current company so from this company only came out when did you come out you come out why did you come out because of pandemic you can tell them like that so do you have any notice period so i don't have any notice period because i am not working currently something like that okay so if you if you put next month for probably in march right so you can tell them that when did you come out you can tell them that february you know <clears throat> 25th i came out something like this because march if you try to put it so last month i came out february 25th my last work day i came out something like this you can just bluff them so currently working for this company last three and a half years you're working for and on the payroll of one more payroll company you should have it right so payroll company you may take it from me or you can ask uh, umapati my team they'll give you payroll company you should have it but in your in your cv you need to mention currently i'm working for accenture hyderabad since you know you can say june 2016 to something like this okay june 2016 to till date single company put it is it direct payroll company people may ask it is not direct payroll company this is third party payroll so what is the payroll company so that payroll company may be abc clear so this P abc company is going to make the payment to you and you are working for accenture or you may be you know mind tree some company name you need to mention in your cv that's it clear so so this payroll company actually uh it is one month notice period since you lost the job in accenture so accenture contract is over you don't have any job because of pandemic the last working day is this one so your immediate joiner so when they ask you notice period you need to write only like this so i am the immediate joiner okay so why because i lost the job blah 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 the reasons i have mentioned right so these are the reasons you need to tell them in the for the hrs that's it then they'll have interviews and everything clear so this is how you have to prepare yourself and initially you may be failing for you know one or two you know rounds of interview that's fine so at least you need to fail okay so initially three to four rounds of interview and uh, you definitely watch my joints videos and a lot of other you know videos i made it right so that you need to watch and especially nitish and accenture is now you know opened with fresher openings okay you send me your cv nitish so accenture and ibm yeah, company yes, is uh, you know opened with a lot of you know job opportunities we're also placing the you know the freshers if you have 2019 2020 passed out please let me know so that we can place them minimum 4.5 lakhs of salary packages clear so if you have any friends let them know we are uh, doing placements to those guys precious guys so nitesh is a pressure right you can do that immediately and last week we got a couple of offers for precious 4.5 lakhs in accenture ibm and uh, cognizant is going to happen next week clear so don't go here and there if you need placements and everything whether it is a lateral entry or pressure entries okay please come to us so that we are there to do the placements for you guys okay so no worries so these are the things that you have to do it okay so if you have any questions so you ask me otherwise you know oh, these are the things if you practice my subject if you practice my subject you will be able to crack msba interview very very easily no need to worry about people may ask you do you know anything any power bi so what is your future expectations you can tell them that i did not get the opportunity to work with power bi or azure but definitely i wanted to learn power bi azure python to grow in the ladder 
people may ask what is your you know what is that you are expecting uh, people may ask right so what is the expectations from this company one is that definitely i wanted to work in power bi because i never worked on power bi i know what is the power bi and all but i don't have any practical approach to power bi and azure and latest technologies azure data science and you know, so these are the things i am looking to work with okay you can tell them that python azure is the cloud computing right so instead of storing the data locally we hire a machine and we're going to be loading the data into uh, you know azure platform this these are the things i am planning to work clear you can tell them that what is that you wanted to be after five years or after 10 years means you can tell them that what is that you're good in so you can tell them that i'm good in sql server i'm good in ssis and ssrs but not in ssis clear so this is what you should do it and uh, msba project batches you can ask my team right so they are you know scheduling batches you call them so 9642143942 and if you go to my website we can just watch uh, the latest schedules and everything right so you can just go to this one so you can just let me check i don't know what is the schedules uh, go online trainings so you can go to the website and you can just call them okay so if you go to new batches so you will be able to get what is msba project it is 6th march 7 30 pm they're planning okay so this is a schedule you just ping them if you have any questions you can just ping them and you can ask them so these are the questions and uh, right you can just call this is my number already you know it so these are the numbers you can just reach them okay and you can also reach contact as space so the teams will be there okay this is the number also you can have it these numbers you can just follow them and you call them okay so guys so this is one more number just you can use it clear so the new batches everything will be there and uh, so these are the things guys and this week we got uh, almost four to five offer letters right two people from msba project batch and two people from you know the previous batch okay and uh, yeah so any the, any other questions guys we'll stop the class and from monday we'll start with stored procedures okay so today we had seen how to you know get ready with the interviews and everything and these are the questions these things you know i i'll post in the <clears throat> this file i am going to be posting in your uh, you know sql server right so you just download it so under t sql so this is interview questions okay so sql ssis and ssrs clear so definitely i strongly recommend to attend msba project otherwise cracking is very very difficult people can easily catch you you don't have any project exposure clear so thank you guys any other questions if you have it please let me know apart from this if you if you have any other interview questions you know that you wanted to handle so maximum time we you know we covered this and if you have any other questions you are welcome guys any other questions we have so get ready with ssis and ssrs and uh, along with sql you know i'll be posting indexes videos today you just watch them clearly from monday because tomorrow day after tomorrow we don't have classes saturday and sunday we don't have right so from monday so next three four days will be you know dealing with only stored procedures right so after that we have uh, 
triggers two days and the functions one or two days and uh, user defined functions two days triggers two days curses two days that's it okay so these are the topics left another you know week maximum you know topics will get over clear yeah thank you guys and the next sql server batch is going to start uh, march right if you have any friends let them know march 6th i think we are having new sql server batch okay the demo will be on march 6th 2021 it is saturday 8 a.m but regular classes will happen not at 8 a.m so from monday it will be at 6 30 in the morning okay if you have any friends so th let them know that we are starting a new batch so these are the timings and if you miss these classes again after two months the new batch is going to start because sql server will start every two months so if they miss this batch and uh, again after two months only so it will be march 6th right so april and may yeah april may 6th or may 10th the the next sql batch will be there so let, uh, you know ask them to attend this so without sql server don't jump into it industry one rdbms and one programming is needed to jump into it industry rdbms is not so complex people are not learning properly because of that it is complex okay so tomorrow is saturday right we are having a demo at uh, 8 am okay and this is msba demo if you have tomorrow if you have any friends ask them to attend if they wanted to learn power bi also no problem so they let them attend you know this demo tomorrow power bi candidates also can attend so tomorrow 8 am we are having uh, this one because another three to four days our exercise gets over then we'll start data warehousing and everything okay so with that the new batch will start clear guys so any other questions thank you so much and uh, from monday we'll deal with stove procedures okay so prepare the cv ask sample cvs for you know to my team don't you know change the projects and everything projects and responsibilities you don't change it Ch change the name of the project or you may include some new projects so responsibility will, will not change ssis and ssrs sql server those responsibilities will not change only project description may change you may be working for star health i may be working for uh, lambord insurance or you may be working for icic bank and i you know osman khan may be working for you know daish bank that's it only the project names description will change roles and responsibilities don't change it clear and keep not more than two projects minimum two to maximum three projects you can just keep it and that's it you can tell them that uh, your uh, ex educational background currently where you're working that's it so you need to change the minimum things and you should not spend more than you know 10 to 15 minutes or more than 20 30 minutes to prepare a cv and send it to me if any modifications needed i will modify it i will make the cv ready right once the cv is given you need to upload your cv into naukri and monster and all you know times jobs at least three to four you know this one and uh, you know at least have proper internet everything and uh, start you know attending the calls clear so you may not be able to answer initially but slowly you will be able to attend it so meanwhile you also start doing your msba project clear so daily you need to spend a minimum 20 to 30 minutes in naukri portal to upload your cvs clear so daily if you simply upload your you know cv today and forget about it then nothing will happen so don't do that daily 20 to 30 minutes you open the you know portals and apply look for ssi jobs you know apply look for etl jobs apply look for sql server jobs you apply look for ssrs jobs apply you look for ba jobs you need to search like that you need to search and uh, relevant jobs you can just work you know upload clear so daily 20 to 30 minutes either in the morning or in the evening you got to you know work because if you daily at nine o'clock when you you know sit with the portal 
So daily night or nine o'clock when you're uploading new things and everything. So next day morning you will get calls. Clear? Because nine o'clock, ten o'clock next day the recruiter will come. They'll see there is a you know CV arrived to their email box. They'll immediately call you, right? So whenever they call you, they'll say that everything is fine. So once it is shortlisted, we'll come back to you. So that's what they'll say. Recruiter will say once your CV is shortlisted, we'll get back to you. So you store their number. And after one day, you just call them or ask them what 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 happened to my CV because for them it is a lot of CVs. They may forget, right? If you don't follow up, then definitely they don't respond because for them hundred calls, they may miss some ten CVs also. You don't get it, right? So it is your responsibility to store their name in your mobile number, and within one day you need to ask them. You, you, you need to have one pen and paper, right? This is the call I got it today. Did I reply? You ask them simply. Put one SMS. Is there any update? This is Bhaskar Jogi for, for MSB. So something like this. End of the day, you follow with the recruiters. So if you do that, getting a job will be in a one month. You will get a minimum three to four offer letters. Three to four, not only one offer letter. So this is how my students are getting clear. So job. When you have three to four offer letters, you will you you can choose one company. Right. So, getting jobs are very, very easy, and I'll give you complete support. And if you're stuck anywhere technically, uh, you if you don't know how to crack the interview, how to talk in the interview, don't worry. So I'm there to help you, and I'll post couple of interview, you know, videos. Also, I have recorded a few videos, so that I'm going to be posting guys so no worries you watch those videos as well and this video as well so that you are ready clear so no student 100 percent ready anytime right so you can you never think that i will post my cv after two months if you think like that you will you know forget everything so don't do that so no student will be ready 100 percent anytime right so never never think that i'll post not now after learning everything i'll post so nobody can learn everything even if you ask me do i know ssis completely the answer is no even i don't know right so never think that i'll post my cv in month of april month of may don't do that you at least post and you know get ready at least you have completed ssis and ssrs and sql right then immediately you post it so you may fail five to ten rounds of interview nothing to worry clear so you create the cv and do it and we are there to support you and if you have any friends recommend them and you give the reviews on this okay so i'll give you one link give the review about my course clear guys so thank you guys thank you guys